that fund. The quarterly meeting between government and civil society leaders is meant to harness a good working relationship between the two parties. The CSOs presented a number of grievances including hefty fines on defaulted registration and harassment by some district leaders. We express displeasure with the government, especially the executive, in terms of decision making. That since they suspended the DGF in 2021 February, it took the executive over one year to make a decision as to whether to suspend, to keep the suspension or to lift the suspension. And we thought that's quite a long time. It had tremendous effects to the effect that this program is ending September. They want government to come clear on how they intend to run their operations without being gagged. The government, including the Minister himself of Internal Affairs, has been able to speak for, for himself, we would say, from the horse's mouth and uh, really pledged to continue working with NGOs as we continue to develop Uganda. We think that we are not going into the deep nitty-gritties of those issues. For example, when we talk about the fines that are tasked on NGOs in case they fail to renew their licenses in a timely manner, the six months, the fines are charged per month. The minister seems to suggest that it's a one-off. <laughs> Two million things only. <laughs> and you are crying. I'm going to increase it to four. <laughs> now, I want to increase it to four so that you are scared of paying that fine. Major General Kahindo Tafide said government's job is to ensure that there is no masqueraders and duplication of work in the shadows of the CSOs. MOUs go and uh, engage in activities in districts which districts are engaging in at, at, at the same time. Now you have problems of accountability and you can trust these uh, government officials to account for the activities using NGO resources. Government and civil society organizations have for long engaged in a hot and cold kind of relationship with government blaming them for unscrupulous dealings in the interest of foreigners. The CSOs vehemently deny this allegation. Walter Mwesije, NTV. We hand clap for her as she comes. Yes, sir.